already. I don't know. Is the, the mic on? Is the mic right? Is Maybe the mic I, correct? Yeah, I looked at it. It seemed like the right one. Happy day. Mm. So we're here at last. It's Earth Day. Earth Day. Happy birthday, Earth. Aw, finally. Old enough to uh, buy you a drink. Earth Day, Earth Day. More like Colin Firth Day. Colin Firth Day. Who's Colin Firth? I don't know. Siri. <laughs> this is Siri. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Like oh, and subscribe in the boy. comments. Oh, oh this guy. that guy. He's in the before. Kingsman. Mr. Kingsman himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy goes Wait, like. Who's this guy who's going to jail next to me? Uh, that's Derek Chauvin. <laughs> oh, Colin Firth <laughs> is the one who recorded the video. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Colin Firth to star in adaptation of the Staircase true crime docuseries. I've um, never heard of this. He's replacing Harrison Ford for the role of Michael Peterson. Michael Clark Duncan? The role of Jordan Peterson. The role of Jordan Peterson. Ah, uh, there was such a great wholesome moment on Frenemies a couple episodes ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like out of nowhere, <laughs> Trisha was like, "Ethan, <laughs> close, 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 close your eyes." It's, 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 and so he closes his eye, and she says, "Who, who do I sound like?" And then in a completely obvious Kermit the Frog voice, she goes, I'm Kermit the Frog. <laughs> and then Ethan is silent, and he says, Jordan Peterson. <laughs> and that goes over her head, but it was really funny. <laughs> I'm Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. <laughs> it was a pretty good Kermit the Frog voice, though, honestly. Kermit. Why does he sound like Kermit? He sounds like Jordan Peterson. Mm, lobsters. No, I think, <laughs> how would Kermit say lobsters? Hey, wait, can you look up a picture Kermit, of um Kermit. of uh, Jordan Peterson's daughter dressed up as a lobster? Jordan Peterson, <laughs> daughter, lobster. <laughs> Whoa. She's kind of hot, but all she eats is meat. Isn't that a character from Powerpuff Girls? Oh, you're thinking about him from the Powerpuff Girls. Kind of similar, but not a lobster. Damn. I just want to have sex with her so much. Damn. I want to I wanna fuck a lobster. I want to fuck the lobster. Anyways, how you doing? Uh, pretty good, yeah. You seem kind of unvibed today. I'm very tired. Yeah, you seem really tired. I've got, like, like seven hours of sleep every night oh, this week. No. And it's... It, I can't take it much longer. I have to sleep the correct amount of time at okay. some point. Well, drink all these natter days and I'll put you right to sleep, buddy. No, uh, that won't help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you're doing it anyways. Yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not going to drink, like, six like last time. I am. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool. Wait, what's this cool picture? What we got? Jordan Peters pulling out the 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 lobsters out his G dang Jackie. Holy shit! He got them things strapped on him. <laughs> uh, Jordan Peterson, the pursuit of happiness is a pointless goal. Yeah, if you're a fucking brain dead, unhappy piece of shit like Jordan Peterson, you shouldn't try to be happy. You should. Um do something with these lobsters. What's his? What is his thing with the lobster? He, he like. What the fuck is the lobster supposed to be? His whole thing is like, okay, mind you, he's not a biologist by any means. <laughs> his his whole argument was like that both humans and lobsters like get serotonin in like the same way or something. Okay. Uh, and and from well, are like lobsters get serotonin boosts? from like defeating their rivals or something mm. and so humans should be like i don't know it, it's it's nonsense science it made it only, only the strongest will survive yeah but only if they're unhappy and eat only red meat mm. the carnivore diet i think yeah right there carnivore, carnivore diet, diet. 
I do the carnivore diet, except that um, it's pizza rolls. I do the carnivore diet except for it's pussy. <laughs> Yo, Jordan Peterson pussy diet. Mm. That's cyst, another name for it. Yeah. Um, uh, 100% pussy. Wait a minute. That's him. <laughs> That's the Powerpuff Girl. Yeah. Him. And there's the guy from the Gaston, but the bi- big honkin' honkers. Big tit version. Big it titted out to the max. Titted out. Now it's just a bunch of Gastons. Dang it. No I one, thought we were going to see this lady no in one, every character. No one gender bends like Gaston. That's true. <laughs> no one eats the carnivore diet like Gaston. Mm-hmm. I think Gaston, if he was alive today, he would be in support of Jordan Peterson. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's a shame. Him, He's dead. And the Beast would have voted for Bernie Sanders. Yeah, the Beast is a class ally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Earth Day. Earth Day. I accidentally clicked the Earth Day link. I just thought this was going to go back to regular Google, but we're in Earth Day zone. Uh, now. Who fucking cares about the Earth? Look at this bee. Oh, that's really There's cute. There's an enormous bee flying around the world. I, I bet if a, a bee this size flew around the Earth this fast, it would destroy all life on the planet. Yeah, the gravitational pull of that bee. Right now it's kicking up dust storms, which are blotting out the entire atmosphere. It's for just creating massive fucking tidal waves, just literally moving the continents. This bee has caused the next mass extinction event. God, I wish that were me. God, I wish I were that bee. Oh. I'm not going to drink beers. Proceeds yeah. to open yeah, second God, beer seven two. minutes yeah, into the podcast. Two is, uh, two is fine. <laughs> you know I'm not uh, going crazy yet uh, you went crazy two nights ago I did yeah. <laughs> that stream was garbage <laughs> it was yeah. I knew it was gonna be the one. as I was getting high I, I said I wanna I wanna keep getting high to the point where it's not fun to watch <laughs> It wasn't. And, and I did. He was just playing the Binding of <laughs> Isaac, and he's already not the best at it. Uh-huh. And it was just. <laughs> you were just like restarting every run and then just like dying in a room. <laughs> <laughs> and just like. Uh, it was, it was yeah. really funny. I went to bed pretty early, though, yeah. so I don't know what happened after you started playing Halo 2. Yeah, I started playing Halo 2, and then I got bored of that, and then I just watched YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> I did see, though, before I left, that someone joined, became a follower because they saw you you were playing Halo 3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you were actually playing Halo 2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They popped in in chat and were like, yes, Halo 3, the best (laughs) game ever. (laughs) It's just a shitty cutscene at the beginning of Halo 2. (laughs) I don't think they were a real Halo fan. I would have recognized what Halo it was instantly. Yeah. So I'm glad they left. Mm. Yeah, good riddance. Suck my cock, whoever that was. Oh my god. I'm ornery today. Watch out. I don't know. I'm getting. I can't read you today. You're insane. You got like fucking cowlick out the ass. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> showered in a while. <laughs> Bro, I shower every day. Uh, I, I don't know. I just. I'm tired and, and get home and I just sit on the couch. You could sit in the bathtub instead. I guess. No. I haven't but taken I can't a bath. Watch Red Letter Media in there. Yeah, you can. I guess I could. You literally can. I wouldn't be able to hear my phone over the water. I guess if I took a bath. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was thinking about a shower. I've never taken a uh, bath in there. Wow. You, when, when was the last time you took a bath? That's um, crazy. Last time I house sat for my dad when he still lived in Sprague. Because oh. they didn't have a shower there, so I had to take baths. Oh. Yo, that was kind of sick, though. I liked that place. Like when That I was, place was cool. Yeah. I wish I could just live there, and that was my Off house. Off the grid, yeah. 
Yeah, I, yeah, but what I would do is I would make a frozen pizza, and then I would put it on, like, a plate and get in the bath and just have the plate, like, floating on the top of the water, and I eat my little slices of pizza. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, and I'd be, like, watching some dumb video. You could watch the sunset over Sprague Lake. Mm -hmm. No, I was watching YouTube. <laughs> I also watched that every. Was, uh, oh, I was so Leprechaun jealous movie that there. that that area of Washington <laughs> is so beautiful, and you're just yeah. inside <laughs> watching YouTube videos. Yeah, playing There's the a beautiful Total lake. War. It's like a bird preserve. I don't care about birds. Yeah, you're anti-bird. I'm anti-bird. Notice that about you. They piss me off. Yeah, I get that. Why should they get to fly when I can't? Uh. Evolution. Do the evolution. Do the evolution. I don't know how that song goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Evolution, baby. Wow, wow, wow. Hey. Hey, 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 do the evolution. Yeah. <coughs> We're close. Yeah, it's in that ballpark. I think so I was closer, okay. so I don't, I don't think you should compare uh, us. Okay. So. Well, I don't know. I think I did pretty good. Yeah. Uh, by you being good, you mean bad. No. Yeah, no, I think it's bad. No, I don't think so. No, no. All right. I'll let it go. All right. Uh, agree to disagree on this. No, I'm not agreeing to anything. <laughs> <laughs> let's disagree to disagree. I am disagreeing. <laughs> I'm moving on. Let's disagree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, hard bargain. Uh, the power went out in Target today. Oh, wow. It was insane. I was, like, in the middle of the store, mm. and, like, you don't realize that there aren't any windows in giant stores like that. And Damn. so when the lights go off, it's just pitch fucking black. Damn. They should do a found footage horror movie in a Target that has the lights go out. Oh, that was me today. Yeah. Should have recorded it. It was funny though, like no one. It well, the power was only fully off for like a couple seconds, but like everyone was just kind of like, huh? <laughs> like no one like screamed or anything. Like, ah! <laughs> which would have been really funny because it got like really quiet. But um, but that's like everyone was like scrambling over the radio as like the the backup generator went on and and like getting the guests like checked out, and then it was it literally happened right before my lunch, and I was just like. <laughs> I, I'm out of here. Yeah, I just, just I just sat in the break room and all like the lights were off and we were just like, oh, here we are. It's what it's. But I guess, yeah, I guess it's the power went out on like the whole South Hill though. So. Mm. Yeah. That, I man, it didn't seem that crazy out, but I was in, I was inside all day without vision to the outside. So. <laughs> It didn't seem like it Peak was power. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't seem like it was power going out weather, but. Mm -mm. We're know? finally supposed to get like some springtime weather this weekend. Do you realize April's almost over and it literally hasn't rained all April? Hmm. April That's showers fine. my ass. April shower my ass. You need to April shower your ass. <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> shit caked on me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you are you a, are you a weak wiper? You just leave. Yeah, I, I leave like half the. Turd. You only do like one wipe. Well, I don't go back in I for a second scoop. I poop the turd like halfway out, and then like I cut it in half <laughs> with the toilet paper, and save the second half for later. <laughs> you have your poop scissors uh -huh. in the bathroom to yeah. snip your turd mm -hmm. to like try to yeah. expunge the extra nutrients. Mm -hmm. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why poop is brown? Why is poop brown? Because it's all dead red blood cells. Oh. So they just turn a... Hmm. Brown is like the dead version of my red. dead cells. Yeah. Dead cells. Dead cells. My uh. favorite roguelike? I think, yeah, dead cells. A yeah, it's a roguelike. That's a roguelike. Or a roguelite. It's I don't really know the fucking uh, difference. Who cares? Yeah. Only autists care. Only care? nerd douchebags <laughs> care about that. 
Do you know what else nerd douchebags Ooh. care about? What? RPGs. RPG, RPG. <laughs> Talk about the first sesh. But, uh, oh, sorry. It wasn't time for monkey mode I was, yet. I was getting excited. God, you're fucking... You're this close I'm today, buddy. Crazy. Anyways, it was fun. Yeah, we did our first session. As some of our fans might say, it was a little scuffed. It was a little <laughs> scuffed. Uh, yeah, no, it was very scuffed. Um, yeah, it, it is playtest material. Mm -hmm. uh, new setting and new campaign. So there was many, many bumps in the road as we all tried to figure out what was going on and what to do. Who were we? Me. Where were we? Your house. What am I? Me. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, no, it was fun. Yeah. I I really I like um, what the uh, what what is the program? We D D roll twenty. Roll twenty. Roll twenty, baby. Shout out. Shout out. We're spun. This podcast is sponsored <gasps> by Roll Twenty. Have and, you uh, ever won? No. <laughs> and World Anvil. This episode is sponsored by Honey, Quip, and Me Undies. This, uh, this Those jokes were good. Penis. This joke, this joke is sponsored <laughs> by. <laughs> joke is sponsored by Blue Apron. <laughs> this joke is sponsored by Blue Chew, the only blue that chews. Man, oh. <laughs> Comptown is doing something funny What's with their What's up with Addy. Comptown lately? They're doing a bit that was We moved on from talking really, about RPG really uh, quick. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, do you have any more thoughts? Uh, what, 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 uh, what do the people need to know? Um, that it's <laughs> epic. It is epic. And yeah. they should watch us when we stream. Yeah, you, you Are you going to post a VOD to YouTube? Um, I, I feel like it's not very entertaining to watch, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Maybe, maybe if we do, like, a second campaign. Yeah. Or something. I don't know. But, like, yeah. The, the first session is a lot of, what is this? How do I do this? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> from everybody, including me. Yeah. The guy who Not wrote, for me, though. <laughs> including me who wrote the rules going, <laughs> wait, how do you do this? <laughs> God, I wish we were famous already, though, and, like, people would make, like, a fan animation of our characters. Mm -hmm. That'd be so epic. Get on it, Get on fans. It. We know you're out there somewhere. Somewhere. Surely somebody out there is a fan. <sighs> somewhere. Somewhere. When are we going to get our first celebrity guest? Yeah. Episode 69 is Ooh. almost around the corner. Ooh. We should get a celebrity guest. All right, let's get uh, should try Exhibit get... on here. Oh, I was thinking more reachable than that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> should try to get Selma on our podcast. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Come on. We might be able to get, like, one of her mods <laughs> on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, let's get, I bet, um, I bet I could get Jackal on here. Get the Jackal dude on here. Who? He's kind of a celebrity. Is he? Yeah, he gets, like, uh, dozens of likes on his Twitter posts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Invite him on. It's more than I've ever had. Mm, yeah. I, I have had one video with 28,000 views, though, so who's to say who's more famous? It's more than I've ever had. Yeah. It's the magic of post into YouTube haiku and then randomly it's the top one for a little bit and then it's the top one for the whole day. I, I, was, I was blinded by the balls of that kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was blinded by his pulsating nutsack. It, man, it, it, it sucks that like <laughs> I spent like I stayed up all night once editing audio for, for <laughs> of um, the like 2007 VGAs, and like it gets like six likes, and then I spent three seconds just editing me reacting to a line from Baby Driver. <laughs> Twenty eight thousand views. <laughs> Fate is a yeah. is a cruel bitch. It's what it's. It's what's bitch. It's what bitch. Bitch, what's bitch? Bitch. What? <laughs> this is our best episode <laughs> yet. 
feel like you're hungover, but you're not. No, you're just, I'm just... You're, like, stuck in a time I loop. just, like, have accrued an hour of sleep debt every night, mm. so... I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a little crazy. Just chug some NyQuil, dude. It's getting a little crazy in here. Dude, you're gonna get the bedtime scurvy. I'm getting the bedtime scurvy. Have I told you about bedtime scurvy? Bedtime scurvy. <laughs> um... <laughs> My buddy Joe, who is like one of my best friends in college, um, he was he was a, a freak in the way that I'm a freak, freak kind of weird. Sheets. Yeah, kind of weird, like philosophical cowboy mm -hmm. weirdo from Montana. Kind of philosopher type. Yeah, um, but like he always had this thing. Like, I mean, he and I would be like drunk and chain smoking every night. And, um, but if we were like, weren't doing anything and we're just like in our own thing, like drinking at home and it was like getting late, he'd be like, Garrett, I'm getting the bedtime scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I, I still don't know what it means, but I say it too, but it was, it's just like, it's just like you get a, you get a feeling at night that you're not doing what you should be doing. You're going, you're going crazy. Mm. You're going stir crazy. You got the bedtime scurvy. I got the bedtime scurvy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. I bring I bring that up every now and again because it's funny. I don't know what it means. What you got there? Sorry, there's uh, hair in my mouth. <laughs> what if your tongue was covered in hair? Mm, that'd be cool. What we need to get funny is some Oni plays s hypotheticals. Um, would you? What? <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> What would you do if um, I came into the room, but you came? Huh? I came. You'd leave. Okay, that's a good <laughs> hypothetical. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just thinking, like our podcast is in the comedy category. But like, but we're not that funny. We're not telling jokes all the time. <laughs> we gotta do. We need like some hilarious jokes. Dude, I literally don't know any jokes. I told you. I I said the only joke I know on like the tenth episode of the podcast. What do you call a man with <laughs> three <laughs> penises? Um. <laughs> uh, Jordan Peterson on a bad day. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> you've heard it before. I thought you were gonna say what? 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 What do you get when you cross a man <laughs> <laughs> with a society that hasn't been kind to him? <laughs> what do you get when you put? A mentally deranged oh, man in is, a yeah. poo-poo pee-pee society. <laughs> what do you get when you when you take a shit in Geither's pond? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was watching Star Trek today. You are watching Geither's pond? I was watching... Yeah. Well, there One was... of the voice actors from Guy There's <laughs> Bond was in Star Trek. Uh, there was a, a little girl, and she had, like, a toy, and it looked just like the fucking to turtle from Guy There's Pond. No way. You fucking yeah. imagine that. Well, I don't believe you. You know what? I think I, it... I will I will I will hunt down the frame. You should and send it to me, but yeah. like I can see you in just like a deranged state <laughs> sitting <laughs> watching Star Trek and like, whoa, that fucking stuffed bear kinda looks yeah. like the turtle no. from Kyler's pond. No, no, it was I don't even know what it was supposed to be. It was like a green caterpillar, a green yeah. turtle or something, but like it was like a view at like the top of its head and it had like a white rectangle. And it made it look exactly like the fucking grimacing face of the tortoise from Geither's Pond. I hate that. <laughs> I want to see it. Show me that. Pull it up. Let's... Jamie. <laughs> yeah, let's let's find it. Geither's Pond, Pond turtle Star in a Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there aren't. <laughs> let's look at images. You never know. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Whoa. That's just a regular turtle. That's a turtle in That's like a, a placenta bath. I've always wanted a big turtle. I could see you having a big turtle. 
Whoa. Spock is white nationalist. Yo, Spock is gay? He's got the OK symbol up. What is he doing? It's a KKK dog whistle. <laughs> are we meant to hear the dog whistle, or are they? A dog whistle? They call things dog whistles because uh, oh. only dogs recognize it as racist. So that's like a white supremacist recognizes that symbol like a dog would recognize a whistle? No, it's more like how they got oh. the German shepherds to help the Nazis. Oh. They use dog whistles. I see. Yeah. And Such as the OK symbol. Yeah. And you can do that to your dog. Count Dankula did that. <laughs> <laughs> More like Count Stanky. <laughs> Damn, he's stanky. Mm. Maybe we can get him on for episode 69. That would actually be hilarious. Because <laughs> you know that guy is, like, desperate. Mm. I mean, I don't think he's that desperate to be, like, on a 30 listener yeah. the episode uh, yeah, podcast, I mean, but... yeah we're, we're still a downgrade for but, Count Dankula, but it would be really funny to like be like oh yeah dude we love you like you're so fucking cool and then just like get him on <laughs> just like you're a fucking piece of shit <laughs> fuck and just, you. <laughs> just yeah, fuck uh, you he just like keeps trying to talk over and like fuck you <laughs> to see how long he lasts I don't even know enough about him to, to say anything other than a fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I know enough that I would that's to, all you need to say I'd to need him. I need to study <laughs> up on my material. It's Let's not... look up Duluth. Duluth Trading Company? Oh, look at this turtle. It's got grass on it. I've seen that guy before. G-Dang. You can, it's like you can a, swear all the time. It's like uh, one, of the, one of the trolls dolls, but yeah. the turtle version. His fucking Klingon's name is Coral. Dude, he what looks... What a loser. Uh, I don't have anything to say about this particular man. <laughs> He's named after a fucking multi... Uh, single cell organism. You're right. That's how stupid he is. It's like if my name was Jellyfish. Yeah. Be pretty cool. A jellyfish a bunch of single cell organisms some of them are like the portuguese man of war man of war that's the famous one but uh they their life jellyfish and corals life cycles are similar mm. i'm pretty sure most of them are they have little polyps and polyps and um <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> yeah. about polyps you're you know sometimes God, I wonder when we're going to have to take our first colonoscopies to look for anal polyps. Mm, never. I'll never okay, have it done. Okay, enjoy dying. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, are you afraid of getting your anus um, entered by a camera? Yeah, because it would make me gay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that tracks. <laughs> There's, yeah, you're right. But yeah, I found my dice. I remembered what container they were in. I'm like, where is that container? And then I found the container. What are you looking up there? Cake recipe? Yeah, well, it says to um, try typing in cake recipes instead of Geyser's Pond Turtle in Star Trek, <laughs> so... And then the image of the turtle just pops up. <laughs> <laughs> we found it. The perfect chocolate cake. I am Baker. <laughs> That's cool. That's epic. I am Baker is a cool username. You should learn how to make your own Totino's pizza rolls from scratch. <gasps> how uh. to make... <laughs> Pizza rolls from scratch. Whoa. Let's find out. Oh. Instructions. Oh. Pre. Wait. Pre. Whoa. Those don't look anything like Totino's. Those look wrong, but they still look kind of good, though. It's not a pizza roll. Didn't I tell you that they made. 
Did I, did I tell you that they made Taki Totinos? Oh, this looks fucking good. Wow. Nathan interested in real food. Might have to fuck around and make my own pizza roll. That's not gonna happen. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> we could do it for like a like a like a episode. Parmesan cheese, melted butter, oh. garlic powder, Italian, Italian seasoning, seasoning, mozzarella well, cheese, cheese, and pizza topping. Pizza. That could be any. Wow, both of them to put pineapple as an example here. Oh, fucking idiot. They should know how contentious that is. I like it. That's a, I think I've said that before. Like I don't like it all the time, but like I I'm a fan of sweet and savory mixed together. I'll I'll say it. I think it's a great pair. You know, I was thinking the other day about the fucking pineapple pizza debate. Like I I hate stuff like that where like like most people are doing like the 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 pine do you like pineapple on pizza like as a bit at this point mm -hmm. but like it still sucks because it's just like yeah, yeah i've heard it before yeah a thousand times like ah ha, ah, ha, ha i'm mad about pineapple well, on it's, pizza it's, it's just a it's <laughs> it's just it's just a taste preference it's not like yeah. a cultural thing or anything it's just like do you like to eat it or not like get over it yeah yeah, every t like that sort of stuff comes up all the time. Back when we were like in high school, yeah, it was like pirates or ninjas. You know, it's like yeah. Now the kids are like, are you a fuck? top? Or are you a bottom? Yeah, that's, it's like yeah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, either you're stupid for actually caring, or it's not funny because it's a played out joke. <laughs> it's a played out. Stop joke. it. Oh my god. Stop it! Holy shit. I'm mad. I'm mad about the pineapple pizza joke. Stay mad. What else are you mad at? <laughs> Hitler. Okay, keep it going. Donald Trump. Okay, we got half an hour to fill. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Silence! <laughs> uh, Asparagus! You know what grinds my gears? Uh, poodles. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really like poodles. Uh, I don't know if I've ever even really seen a poodle. <laughs> Look one up right now. Tell me, tell, they, me, tell me what yeah, you think about poodles. This is my poodle. first time seeing a poodle. This is a poodle reveal. Poodle, poodle just dropped. What the fuck? I mean, they're kind of ugly. <laughs> Yo, this dog built like Mega Man. <laughs> 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 no, the dog built like a balloon dog. <laughs> <laughs> balloon dog, dog with the balloon. <laughs> she dreams in butter, she dreams in bread. Can't find a butter dog. <laughs> Can't find a butter dog. Me complaining about played out joke one second later <laughs> butter dog <laughs> dog with the butter oh dog with the butter on him dog with the butter butter, butter, butter dog. dog dog with the butter there's a difference butter dog is good classic that's com <laughs> that's comedy that's not that's yeah. not that's, that's the real yeah. that's the real joke. okay but have you seen a labradoodle all right let's look up labradoodle 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 there they are that just looks like a dog. I've seen like a hundred of these dogs. I want to kick it. That's a regular dog. That's a dog I could kick. Just Look, like, there's three sizes of them. Oh, I have one, <laughs> two, three. Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> <laughs> they have three challenge levels. They get harder to kick as the size goes. No, up. they don't get harder. <laughs> <laughs> you can kick any dog. <laughs> I am the dog kicking champion. <laughs> Yeah, dog, I'll kick it. You don't even have to pay me. I'll just fucking shoe on, shoe off. That dog is getting oh my kicked. God, they have too many Labradoodles. That is white people. People who are obsessed with a single dog breed is scary. Uh, that's me, though. <laughs> I'm obs You know I'm obsessed with greyhounds. Are you? Yeah. I, I do like greyhounds. I, I like love how weird greyhounds. and skinny they they're are. That, but they're so nice. Yeah. They're, oh. they're, they're, they're they're a strange, uh, esoteric breed. Yeah, they're kind of a liminal being. Mm -hmm. 
What's esoteric mean? I don't know. <laughs> What's an isosceles? An isosceles dog. I think I saw somewhere the guy that invented air quotes labradoodles was mm-hmm. like upset about what he had wrought because <laughs> it's just like the designer dog. <laughs> What have I done? Yeah, dog breeding is so insane. Science has gone too far this time. One time, um, I was I was with Jenny and we were um, visiting her uh, sister who lives over in Burlington, and um, and her now husband's family lived in Burlington, and we were there over Easter for some reason, and so we like ended up going to his parents for easter and it was it was weird but it was nice mm-hmm. but um they had pugs mm-hmm. and i love a little pug i was hanging out with the pug i was loving the pug and there's this one time i was just standing in their kitchen and um I, I said like as an aside like maybe kind of to jenny but just like out loud but like to the dog i was just like i can't believe you came from wolves <laughs> and then um Jenny's uh, Jenny's sister's husband's mom like heard me and said, "Well, I don't know about that." <laughs> and I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" I didn't say anything else. I was just like, Pfft. "Uh, the fact that like these people think dog breeds like existed in the wilderness, like, like dogs are literally yeah. proof of evolution. Like that's what it is." God invented the Labradoodle. Because uh, pugs, yeah, I think it's pugs. They literally cannot, look this up. I want to be fact checked Mm -hmm. on this. Apparently they can't give birth unless it's through C-section. So explain to me how that Uh, existed in nature. Birth. (laughs) Pug birth. A pug is pregnant. Litter sizes. Um, Someone told me this one time. Wait a minute. Is that them pulling the fucking pug out? Ew. It is. Okay, yeah, no, that's falling uh, out the pug's uh, <laughs> That looks like the thing that comes out of the uh, in Prometheus. I hate it. Out of her what? They see. They had to see section the girl in Prometheus, uh, but yeah, what comes out is basically pug baby. Ew, I hate that. Yeah. Maybe it's not pugs. I thought it was some kind of dog. Like because of selective breeding, they just like can only be bred through C-sections or or not or give birth through C-sections. Can pugs give birth naturally? Dogs with scotch faces are often Uh, able to breed or give birth naturally. Okay. Uh, The small hip can make mating difficult. Ugh, been there. Breeders turn to artificial insemination while they also mean cesarean sections are often necessary. Okay, okay. I see. Okay. But see, like, exactly like the, 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 the how <laughs> yeah this should not exist yeah this creature literally selective breeding is evolution mm. so f- the evolution baby ah! Ah! penis why did i evolve such a penis <laughs> <laughs> is that from shakespeare yes Remember, do you know that there's so many, like, horrible, invasive birds in America because there's this guy in New York who was, like, obsessed with sh- with Shakespeare? So he, like, released, like, every kind of bird that Shakespeare mentioned. I have heard that. And so that's why there's before. fucking starlings everywhere. <laughs> some dumb bitch. Some, yeah. some dumb drama nerd came over here with all his birds. Yeah. What if he was really, instead of birds mentioned by Shakespeare, he was really um, liked how Shakespeare said that thing about um, why did I evolve this penis? Mm. And he started selectively breeding uh, humans <gasps> to all have penises that resembled the, the visage of uh, Shakespeare. Oh, a little Shakespeare penis. Yeah. I think yeah. that'd be cooler than having starling shit and everything. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd rather have a Shakespeare penis than a starling bird. What if we both have Shakespeare penises and we're just like, we're just like going along with this bit, but we're like <laughs> both too shy to admit yeah, it. There's no way to know. <laughs> there's no way to know how deep the bluff may go. Mm-mm. I got a deep bluff. 
Steve Blush. Should we start playing poker? I guess. I guess we're playing poker now. They play poker on Star Trek. They play poker at uh, game night at the... What is it? Observatory. It's right? not observatory. No, game, game night at the... At, at the inventory. Inventory, yeah, I think. The observatory is yeah. a completely different thing. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah that's in fucking... Uh, Monopoly, dude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shoots and ladders. The only, the only poker I've ever played is that game. And the I've only reason I played it is because I was like, I recognize those characters. Yeah, I mean, it was a cool idea. I wish they kept doing that. Honestly. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it would be fun to just like have like a like card game game yeah. with like lots of Wait. licensed characters you can play with. Okay, who are the fir first four? Were heavy, uh, Max, and uh, strong bad. And strong bad and a guy from penny arcade who i oh, don't right. recognize because i've never read that Either. they're from spokane what yeah did you know what i don't know that one yeah. probably didn't know that because i don't know anything about penny arcade um they obviously don't live here but i remember one time they posted a comment a comic that was like made some joke about when they had to go back to visit relatives in Spokane for mm. Christmas, and it's like, it's funny. We have to go back to this fucking hellhole. Wait, okay, then who was in the second one? The second one had Gladys, I remember. Yeah. And I don't remember who else. Um, Master Chief. Mm. Um, um, wait, the guy from Uncharted? Dante. Yeah. And Doom Guy. Doom Guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Ellie from Lance the last Riddick. Of us too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Richard B. Riddick. Uh <laughs> Dick Riddick. Dick Riddick. Um had LeVar Burton. So do you think <laughs> do you think they named Riddick Riddick because he's It's ridiculous. Like, yeah, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. They sort of named him Redonk. <laughs> Redonk. <laughs> Richard B. Redonk. <laughs> Yeah, I've been thinking about Escape from Butcher Bay and Assault on Dark Athena. Those games are good. I know nothing about them. They're the best Riddick media. Even better than Pitch Black. Wait, I just, you know, I don't even know any... Is that the one, is that the one with Vin Diesel? Yeah. Okay, he's where got he's got the, the freaky eyes. eyes. He's got yeah. the freaky eyes, though. That has, I've seen, like, a clip on YouTube of him fighting a cool monster, yeah. I think. Can I look at the cool monster right now? Yeah. Jamie, pull up the Pitch cool Black. monster. Pitch Black Monster. Yeah, Pitch Black's a good movie. I like Pitch Black. Oh, that's a cool fucking monster. I've really been in the mood, I mean, like, specifically today, to watch, like, a kind of trashy 2000s movie. Pitch Black. I could really go for some Pitch Black. A Chimera of the Night? Or a Bioraptor? What Bio is it called? Bioraptor. That's from the Riddick Wiki. Bioraptor. Bioraptors are highly aggressive creatures. Wow. Just like me. <laughs> it's a cool looking creature, for sure. Yeah. That's a lot of images. Oh, that's oh here's the early concept design of the Bioraptor. I can't tell what that I'm That looks like at. stupid. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's a bad design. It has no silhouette whatsoever. Like... Looks like fucking Ridley. I can't tell what I'm looking at. That's too big to be in Smash. Yeah, this is way better. Yeah, that looks this fucking sick. That looks better. like a fucking um, uh, Geiger drawing. A little little guy. He reminds me of uh, the the critters you meet at the end of Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, or no, it reminds me of um. I always, he's like my fucking favorite artist. I always forget his name. He's the one who designed the, the, the aliens for uh, Alien Planet. Mm. Oh, look him up. Look him up. Mm. Alien, alien Planet. Alien oh, Planet. Oh, it's going to kill me. Artist. This, this. George Wayne Lucas. Barlow. <laughs> George Lucas. <laughs> Wayne Barlow. Wayne Barlow is like one of my favorite Wayne artists. Wayne Barlow. You, you've seen Wayne Barlow's Wayne stuff. Wayne Barlow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Darwin 4. Yeah, I've heard about that book. Yeah, it's it's fucking poggers. Yeah. But he has yeah, this like great series on like hell too. Like he does like aliens Whoa, and hell. There's a hell creature. Yeah, that's a hell creature, alright. Damn. 
Yeah, he's fuck. fuck. He's fucking epic. Damn. Fuck, bro. Damn. There's like, uh, there's this one painting of Lilith that I really like. Look at that big thing. That's a crazy fucking thing. Yeah, big ass thing. Is that thing. Satan chewing on the head of Judas Icarus? Big thing. I don't know. The heart of hell. Wait, type in Wayne, Wayne Barlow Lilith. 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 Oh, wait, it's only one L. Was it that? Yeah, I love the I love the critters, the critters yeah. next to her. Those things are fucking insane. He's going. Ah, ah. That one's going. Ah. It's fucking cool. The viewers will just have to imagine what they look like based off of those sounds. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is what I would picture. I like this little salacious bee crumb down here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little uh, gremlin. Do you think we're ever getting a salacious bee crumb movie? Do you think we're ever getting an R. Crumb biopic where I play R. Crumb? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You don't know R. Crumb? Oh my god. R. Crumb? You don't know R. Crumb? Type in like R. Dot... The letter R. Yeah, the letter R. Dot crumb. You don't, R. Crumb. You would fucking love R. Crumb. I don't know what any of this shit is. He's a famous, like, goofy artist guy. He always threw thick women. Big ass women right here. Yeah, he was a bit of a... Oh, Fritz the Cat. Yeah, he made Fritz the Cat, you idiot. I know Fritz the Cat. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, he <laughs> was, Yeah, he, you know. Uh-oh. Oh, what? Oh, my God, what's going on here? That's... <laughs> I know what's going on That's there. a man inside of her pussy. Yeah, he's a freak, but, um... When I... When I... <laughs> <laughs> When I only have a mustache, I I really look like R. Crumb. Hi, girls, look at me. I'm a kamikaze pilot. <laughs> <laughs> That's no 747. It's Big Kate. Look out. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be fair, if I was in this situation, that's probably what I would say, too. He's... In his day, he's what we would call today an edgelord. <laughs> but he was also, he played music too and was like really into like blues musician and did this whole beautiful artist series on all these like forgotten blues musicians. And um, yeah, he, he, he's a cool, uh, problematic for sure, but um, a uh, cool guy in my book. There's some actually like realistic drawing oh he's he was a great artist like his style is cool and like people people shit on him and always say like our crumb wasn't that great i'm Big like ass. you're full of shit but um one of the reasons i love him is he did um he did art for the monkey wrench gang by edward abbey which is my favorite book in the world so he's uh yeah cool damn look at all these guys i own one art book by him. I, I wish I had more. Yeah. Oh, this is a guy who's fucking a girl through the air. That's kind of what he does. <laughs> Big healthy girls, girl enjoys deep penetration from the rear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's a goblin man. That's a goblin man. I've never there. seen Fritz the Cat though. I haven't either. You should watch Fritz the Cat. Yeah, it's a Ralph uh, Bakshi joint. Mm -hmm. He's the weird freak guy. Yeah, I know he's about. also a weird freak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are lots of weird freaks for sure. Are we the current weird freaks? Are we the weird freaks? I don't think we are. No, we're too irre uh, irrelevant. Uh, Ir uh, irrelevant or uh, ir ir we're, we are irrelevant. Yeah, we're so irrelevant. <laughs> Varieties of women. This is the book where he tells you all the different types of women. Here's the cavemen. Ca cave women. Cave cavemen women. Cave men, women. <laughs> That'd be that would be a hilarious joke comic. Like caveman women. This one says Kriga. <gasps> Kriga. This one says Dad. Dadder <laughs> Yo, I knew some girls that looked like that when I went to Evergreen. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo! Uh, yo! <laughs> that was fucking epic, dude. Shit. 
Call this call this roll. Three. Uh, it's 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 four d sixes. Okay, well it can't be a three then. No. Ten. <laughs> it's more than ten. It's fourteen. It's fourteen. You die. Damn. Fuck. Episode where Nathan dies. <laughs> Nathan fucking dies. No, we have to go skydiving to that place where <laughs> in California oh, that yeah, has like right, <laughs> yeah. skydiving does. Yeah, we have to go to the notorious Wait, look, look that up. Wait, look that up. The, the statistics on that were insane. Notorious skydiving uh, center for kids. Yet another death in the <laughs> notorious. <laughs> There's another one. Uh, All right, how many was it? Bringing the total to 22. That's too many since people to when, die. Since since what year? I guess since 1981. I guess if they make you sign a waiver, it's it's not on them. So that's approaching one a year. That's literally <laughs> one a year. If I From if nineteen eighty one if I died once a year okay. I, I would be like shut once down once every other year. Oh. Yeah, well, that's still really bad for a single skydiving <laughs> center. <laughs> that's like if one person choked to death on food at a restaurant every year. Do you think that restaurant would still be in <laughs> business? <laughs> it's like it's like if a janitor like tripped and impaled himself on a broom every year at like a school like you know uh, you you'd start you'd start thinking something's uh switch to a different profession maybe yeah. uh, invest in stocks pick your nose pick your nose start an only fans you can pick your friends you can pick your nose you can start an only fans damn who says that? Me. Dude, I'm about to do something like really anime. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> Leave in the comments what you think Garrett did. I'll tell you now. Now that you left your comment. <laughs> uh -huh. I put a die between each of my fingers. Like I'm an anime like holding mm -hmm. like kuna in my fingers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, if they made like a D&D &D anime... The people would hold their dice like that. The, the bad guy, he'd go, <laughs> and he'd hold up his die like that. <laughs> that's and literally. Him, and then the hero would go, oh my god, that's the highest rule I've ever seen. That's literally just Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will you Google craziest Yu-Gi-Oh hair? <laughs> All right, here we go. Google. But, oh, if there's a watch, uh, watch 10 Mojo about the craziest Yu-Gi-Oh hair. Craziest Yu-Gi-Oh hair. Images. Here we go. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh hair. Oh, God. He's got a... Kind of like the Nike swoop. Oh, my yeah. God. This just looks like the bird from Star Fox. Falco? No. There's a parrot... A green parrot, isn't there? No. Falco is a different bird. <laughs> Are you com are you combining wait. the bird and the frog? <laughs> no, wait. What? Ad block ad block plus. Shut up, I can't. Ad block plus. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Arbok plus. <laughs> no, I swear, there's like a green. I might be. Wait, no. I, white green bird. Am I thinking about? Oh, green from from the lost the, the no. You're thinking of the bird from Lost Cob Lost Cob got the the Donald Duck guy. I don't think the Minish Cap? <laughs> uh, the, there's a shitty parrot. Oh, in... there it is. It's Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> a Kokobo? I don't know what fucking the, bird it is. The pig of. from Angry Birds? The green birds. Video games are box. full of weird birds. Nah, that's yeah, there's this no. Falco and the chameleon. I think I'm just thinking of the Donkey Kong bird. I think I'm mixing the I Donkey Kong I think you're thinking Kong about the Donkey Kong Falco. bird. That's an insult to Falco. Oh, that's a really hot Falco. Damn, that's a really hot Falco. He's got giant muscles. I didn't know birds could have abs. <laughs> How do you feel about this Falco? I don't like that Falco. <laughs> it's 
like the photoshopped Falco constructed from various images. That's real, though. That was from, like, a weird puppet thing. Oh, they made him real? Yeah. The real Falco? Real Falco, real Falco. Look at all those furries. Man, oh man, I never thought we'd get Falco Lombardi to help. Says this cool looking rat. I like that rat. Is he Italian? That I that's, love the that's how that rat a, looks. Though. That's kind of like a classic '90s like greaser rat. Yeah. Like I imagine seeing him. What's like, that, in a like rat alley fink. or something? Yeah. What do you think about rat fink? Rat fink. I. Who? You know what rat fink is. Come on. I, I've definitely heard of that. I'm gonna have to do an image search. Oh yeah, that's the classic rat. That's the classic that's rat. That's the classic rat. Yeah. It's rat fink. Some fucking scary. Whoa, rat. they made a rat fink Funko Pop. Rat fink. <laughs> that looks so bad. Yeah, that doesn't. Look that like looks like so the fucking rat. bad. Yeah, I don't get Funko Pops. I don't like the way any of them look. They all look stupid. Yeah, I don't really know. I mean, I guess I get. I guess I get it. Like if you, if you, if the style's appealing, then there's four thousand things for you to choose from. But like. Okay, but people who like that style are just brain dead yeah. neckbeards. It's a very generic, inoffensive style that will uh, not offend anyone. Unlike the original what? Rat Fink, who is disgusting and vile. He <laughs> is. I love that. Look at the stink He's lines. So much flies. more character. Yeah. So much more character than a Funko Pop because he's putrid. If they made just like a sick vinyl figure of like that, I would own that. That'd be fucking cool. Uh, Hell yeah, brother. Rat Fink. Rat Fink. I Rat Fink. I gonna. Twelve ounce mouse. Have sex. Who would win in a fight? Twelve ounce mouse or Rat Fink? Out of my way! I'm drunk as hell. <laughs> Um, I think Rat Fink is uh, probably a very powerful Dude, opponent. Dude, 12 Ounce Mouse is literally a god. I don't know, this thing looks pretty scary. I think he could... What's like, he gonna do, drive over you? Yeah. No? Oh. Probably. Just gonna shift into maximum overdrive? Maximum overdrive! You know who got shifted into maximum overdrive? Who? Uh, and by maximum overdrive, I mean maximum security prison. <laughs> Hoo -hoo. Derek Chauvin. Yo, <laughs> yeah, best 420 ever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but did you see the picture of him? Like at the end of the trial, look look at it. It's so good. It's like he's like getting getting like walked away, and he's like looking at his lawyer, and oh, the look they share is just like so good. Lawyer, liar. Lawyer. Oh, where is it? Yeah, this. What, it's like this one, I think. Yeah, look. He's like. You failed me <laughs> yeah, for you, the last you, time. You fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, do you know what you just did to, to, to cops across America? <laughs> uh, yeah. Man. Damn, this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, may he rot, dude. Right, yeah. <laughs> Man, you know he's gonna have a bad time, and well, they'll probably put oh, him he's, in a protected yeah, he's region. Gonna, yeah. But I mean, they have to because otherwise he would get fucking shanked <laughs> immediately. I wish. <laughs> but see, what did that? Like, it's great that he got convicted, but like, literally, there's like the four cops that were witness. Like, they need to be convicted too yeah. to show that like you can't get away with you know being yeah. complacent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Need to. Yeah. But. Yeah, and it sucks because like <laughs> while this whole thing has been going on, like, the, like yeah, black twelve people more are still people dying. have been killed by cops. Or oh, way more than that. Yeah. What we looked that up the other day, it's like there's only been three days in this oh. year where someone hasn't been killed by a cop yeah. in America. Yeah, it's no, literally every cop who kills somebody, like, is at least doing a manslaughter. Yeah, right, like. 
a normal citizen isn't allowed to like kill somebody even if they like feel threatened well exactly that's the thing people like cops aren't supposed to kill guilty yeah. people either yeah, they're you're not supposed to go to court you are not supposed to cops they, there to take they're you not to court. they are not judge and executioner yeah. that is not their role they yeah. don't even get me started on what their role should be it just shouldn't <laughs> exist but yeah, like literally the only defense i ever see for these people is that oh they didn't mean it was an accident you don't know what it's like out there. like that none of that matters we know what you it's can't like out there. You kill anyone for any reason, yeah. even if it's an accident. <laughs> but we know it's like out there because now, th- th- like as bad as the surveillance state is, Q would not be going to prison right now if it was not recorded. Right. And yeah. So it's like we know what it's like out there because mm-hmm. we have all this footage and like literally nine point nine 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 times out of ten, we see that it is mm-hmm. the cops doing. Like yeah. it's just it's insane. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, see, yeah. we see what it's like out there. Like, come on. We're calling you out, cops. Fucking little bitch babies. Get come a real, get a real fucking creators. job. Yeah, I invite a cop onto <laughs> this podcast. Uh, <laughs> I would hate that. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't want to talk to a fucking cop, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> God, I hate cops. Like and subscribe if you also hate cops. This is the Anti-Cop Podcast, episode one. Episode infinity, episode brother. Episode infinity. <laughs> the podcast that was heard around the nation. <laughs> yeah. Fuck cops. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck cop. Fuck every cop. Whoever did his job. That's a that's a giant hobo song that I was actually listening to today. One good cop. I don't know. That's a, that's one. Okay. Fuck the police. Fuck, fuck the police. Well, it's the end of the episode. Yeah, I'm just um, fucking tired. <laughs> thanks for slogging through that one, friends. We love you. God bless you. Thanks for making it to episode 52. Be good. Share with your buddies. Uh, stay tough out there. Um, nothing too exciting on the horizon. We're just hanging in, being cool. God bless. Peace and love. And here's an outro.